Hey guys, so I'm looking at my room and it's very bland, very basic. So I want to do some floating shelves, but if you look, the depth is not very wide right here. So I designed two narrower shelves and one wider shelf at the bottom. And I could have it wood, which I might do, or I could paint them the same white as the walls. I'll see how it looks wood, and then I'll decide then. I ripped down this oak plywood, mm -hmm. so four and a half inches width, two pieces, 41 inches long. Got a three quarter inch spacer, so I'm gonna put it between the two. Right, and then mm -hmm. I ripped down this piece of uh, plywood as well, mm -hmm. inch, and, inch and three quarters thick. I'll put that as a face. Mm -hmm. That'll create a cavity in the back. And then we'll get a small block, we'll mount it to the wall. Well, it'll be thinner than this. And then we'll slide the this shelf. shelf onto the okay. wall and then we'll screw it to the block. Okay, it makes sense. Georgie! And then we scroll down just to scroll. What do you guys say he's happy? You know, you gotta go get around, he's like kitchen. He's very big and he's very fat honey pot. He's a honey pot. Yes, you are. Morning, so I'm just looking at the shelves that we're designing. I don't know if I want to do like a wood, like a pale bleached wood stain, or if I want to just do white to match the walls. It's going to go in that little corner. Oh, yeah, right there. And the little alcove. Like, I tend to go for like a lot of whites on whites, but then that can get kind of old. So I might just do the whitewash on the wood. So it's basically a mixture of water and paint. I don't know. I'm kind of wanting some wood, but we'll see. Morning. So I'm just looking at the shelves that we're designing. I don't know if I want to do like a wood, like a pale bleached wood stain, or if I want to just do white to match the walls. Okay, ever since I moved out here to Central California, like my sunspots have gotten so bad. And no matter how many chemical peels, lasers, active ingredients I use, it's just really bad. And I drive my kids around town nonstop because the buses here like barely even run. It's like one bus and it just has some weird route. And court, it, it publishes stops that it's at at certain times. It's not even there, which to me is like against the law. But anyhow, um, so my sunspots have gotten really bad. I'm also 46, so the age is a factor. I just get out of the shower and I just wanna show you my um, skincare routine for when I'm going out because we gotta take our kids to this pirate beard adventure place, a little like theme park, a little mini one. It doesn't have a lot of attractions or anything, just like a local little theme park. And usually I'm bare face with just sunscreen, but I wanna do something a little bit extra. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my go-to balm, which is really good and thick. It's made from like avocado butter and plum oil. So I'm gonna put that on my face first, just so that I have a good base. And it's really good, you put it on your lips, you put it anywhere. Um, you put in your hair even, but my hair is really fine, so it kind of just makes my hair look even thinner. But it's really good, especially under the eyes. And um, at night, I use like a salicylic acid serum that I created because I've been getting some breakouts. I think the Ozempic made me break out. So I got the go-to balm. Now I'm going to go in with the tinted sunblock, which is what I like to use when I go out. It's by Color Science. I'm kind of like an anti-makeup girl. So this is as good as you're gonna get. And even this, I feel like it's like, I don't like it because then if you like rub your, wipe your face, you get like a tint on your like white towels. So I don't really like to use makeup, but for going out, this is a cute little glow. Um, so, um, and then always wipe your hands. Okay. See how it kind of, you can still see them, but it's like a little veil. Before I moved here, I didn't even need to use tinted sunblock. I could be au natural all the time and feel confident. But now I have this sun, especially my forehead. Really the ones on my forehead bother me the most. And my Botox is wearing out. It's on its way. So we'll do a touch up maybe in the next video. Okay. 
So, I think some eyebrows. So I got my eyebrows dyed, not dyed, tattooed on the, in the 90s. I wouldn't recommend it, but they lasted forever. But they kind of like um, faded to like a grayish color. And then I got them um, shaded. What's that called? You know, where they do like the microbladed. And that lasted like three months. Um, I would say the um, tattoo lasts forever, but then the color fades. Um, but if I didn't get the tattoo, I would have like zero. I'd have to create, I like alopecia. And so I'd have to create from scratch shape. So the fact that I got it um, tattooed a long time ago helps me like quickly go over Hold on. the shape. All right. And I really like these by Anastasia. This little um helps just pick up a few brows, a few hairs that I have. Helps bring them out. Okay. And the last thing we're gonna do, actually second to last one, put a little fresh peach. Um like chapstick and then to me this is what really is like makeup you should put some blush but bring the blush like under your eyes damn near and then it's like you don't even need, need, need concealer or anything because you got the blush detracting from any hollows or dark spots I'm not even gonna try to cover any of that because there we're done oh See all these mini hairs? They're like practically gray, but I like to bring them down because make the flyaways look like they're meant to be um, down as opposed to just flying away. Oh my God, my sunspots kill me, but so my husband's like, it's not a big deal, but you know men, they don't notice anything. I got so much gray coming in. So, yeah. Back to the floating shelves. Actually, let me go get them. Hold on. Okay, so now my husband's gonna kill me. So I've been doing some research and taking some screenshots and the floating shelves that I had my husband make, I want them three inches, not two inches. Cause I feel like two inches, it just looks like a random shelf. Actually, it's gonna go over. Okay, so floating shelf is gonna go over here, right? Two inches just looks like a random shelf. I need him three inches. So what he's gonna do is he's just going to take it apart, I get. Oh no, he can't take it apart. Fuck, I don't know, but he said three inches is not a big deal, but I think three inches is gonna be better. So that's where we're at. Okay, so we ran out of wood. We only have two shelves made because I insisted that the shelves be three inches instead of the original two inches. But what I did to this one is I did the paint treatment with the different stains. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use this one in the bathroom. But you see the difference? The thick one actually to me looks nicer. And what I plan on doing is using the spray texture so that it can match the finish of the book. Where the spray texture hit the walls so you're going to want to go in and touch that up as well That's right there okay i'm going to finish painting
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna cut this piece. Remember I made this because I broke the glass for the travertine? So I'm gonna cut this piece of wood to go on top of there in that cubby because I feel like it needs something in the bottom area. And um, yeah, so it's just an idea. Okay, so honestly, I don't know how this looks. I did cut off one end right here, right now. So let's see. Okay, so I had to drop my daughter off with her friend who took the train all the way down here to Central California from San Francisco. So it was fun. So I took him, dropped him off at this amusement park real quick and I had to go to Hobby Lobby. So I woke the baby up who was in the car seat from his nap, took him to Hobby Lobby, totally killed the nap. It was supposed to be an hour and a half nap, but it was only ended up being 30 minutes. But I just couldn't pass it up because every where I live, everything is like 25 20, 20, to 20, 20 to 30 minutes away. So the fact that I was already near the Hobby Lobby, I just took advantage of it. So I wanted to get something for the shelves and remember that the shelves are only four and a half inches deep. So I'm really limited. So I went and picked up these two candle holders, which are nice because they have like the forged iron hammered look. They're about 10 or $11 each. So I got two different sizes. And then, so I got these two. And then I did pull over and just snagged one of these. So this is actually almond flour. It smells pretty good. I've never had an almond, like a fresh almond picked from a tree where I crack it. So I can't wait to try those. Um, I'm pretty sure the almonds develop in there, but it could be wrong. So I got this. Now everything else was a rip off. This was only $6, two little candles. Um, and they're the electric kind, I think. I think I gotta put a battery, but they'll look cute in there. So that, that was a deal, six dollars. I think the candlesticks were a deal too, but um, so these were expensive. I wanted something small, so these were like ten dollars and fourteen dollars. So I know, was it made out of natural vibes collection? I don't know, but I don't know. Why they're so expensive, but they are made out of wood. And I plan on just like putting it like that on one of the shelves. And the last thing I got was this for $8, which I thought I could potentially put a little branch in, but I don't know, we'll see. So we're gonna go ahead and style the shelves now i think they're dry i'm gonna use this little step stool and we're just going to style the shelves what are we waiting for so i have these oh, i don't know if it feels like the end of an era the last time that we'll be together yeah. might sneak up on us overnight Moving along, we're all finding where we belong. You never know when we'll say goodnight for the last time. So while you're here, I'll waste no tears on a wishing we had more time. And I hope. Just want you to know how much you mean to me. How much I'm pretty happy with the way the shelves turned out. Even though there's only two, I think it still looks really good. Like they say, you should always have things in a group of three. But I don't think you necessarily have to go by that rule. Um, in a perfect world, the bottom um, 
tessellated table would have glass instead of wood, but I think it still looks good. Um, I like the styling of the shelves and it goes with the fireplace. I removed the one painting I had with the florals. Even though I love it, it was just a little bit too, um, no, I wouldn't say old ladyish, but you know what I mean? It just wasn't as like modern as I'd like. I like pairing modern art with vintage frames and stuff like that. Or maybe small doses. It was just a little bit much. But I think it looks really good in here. And for sure, if you're wanting to do this project, consider doing the same um, finish as you do on the walls. Now, this is orange peel. This isn't quite orange peel, but this is the only wall texture I had, but it still looks super good. And overall, I'm super happy. Spent maybe like $30 on the two shelves where, um, and they were custom, whereas if you were to buy custom floating shelves, it may have been a bit more, maybe like $100 per shelf. I don't really know, but it's super simple. You just, I'll insert a photo here. You just make it look, you build a little frame and then you put two blocks on the wall and you screw each of the floating shelves on top of the two blocks because they're basically hollow and that that's what makes them stay light. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you'd wanna do a project like this, if you would keep it wood, if you would stain the wood, if you would do the wall texture on the shelves, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye. I can't am sad to see you go, but I just want you to know how happy I am for you. I wish the best for you.